I can see it from behind. I don't want to be in the video anymore. I want to no. edit it out. No, I can actually, <laughs> no, I I can actually, looking at it from the backside, I can actually see it. <laughs> Dangling. Look in my eyes, what do you see? The cult of personality. What's going on everybody and welcome back to another toy hunting adventure. Joining me as always on the hunt these days is my man, the brightest of diamonds, Diamond What's Dave. Up, and uh, yeah, so we're here right now outside of Tate's. We haven't been here in a hot minute. Um, we're slowly working our way down to uh, Bits and Buttons because I received a phone call last night from Dom and quite a few things showed up that might have piqued my interest over the phone, so uh, we'll have to check that out. But yeah, well, let's go into Tate's and let's see if they got anything new in. We're in the Star Wars section right now. We got some Lucy's, here's some mini statues, sleeve ones, more statues, helmets, Boba Fett, hot toys, razor crests. Got the, wow, Captain. Captain Rex is $145, Jesus. What the hell's going on today? Got the Tauntauns. Got the Carbonized Mando. <clears throat> Snow Speeder. Some trading cards. Oh, there's the uh, infamous uh, C-3PO uh, dick card. Dude, freaking, you see how much Captain Rex is? $145? That's Oh, it's one I never had. I got some of the original with the orange, yeah. orange boxes. <clears throat> Here's some other miscellaneous stuff. Some three and three quarters. Got Mando on the blurg. Got Boba. Here's some statues and some busts. That Yoda one's kind of cool. What else we got? What else do we got? Got a whole bunch of Mando stuff. It's all Mando stuff. Oh, they got some of the samurai figures. There's Mace Windu. Some more statues down there. A whole bunch of hot toys. They got their hot toy case going on. That Cad Bane's pretty dope. That's cool. You got all the troopers and Boba Fett and Ahsoka. All Mando stuff, so it's cool. And we got more hot toys stuff over here. Here's some more figures. Here's some of the sideshow stuff. Uh, I got the uh, Sokus Clone Trooper helmet. Here's some Power of the Force and some three and three quarter figures over here. Here's some Black Series. Let's see. This. Ken Payne is tech. Um, the, what is that? The Knight Brotherhood Archer? Yeah, they got the Grand Animal Thrawn, Grand Moff Tarkin, Obi-Wan. Here's uh, Bosk, Chewie. Uh, here's some more of the original Black Series. Here's Han as a Stormtrooper. It's cool. Let's see. <coughs> Some Star Trek, but we don't hot trek on the channel. Uh, it's cool. Danger Room playset. Uh, let's see what they got for Marvel stuff. Got some Lucy's, some retro carded figures. There's some DC stuff. What do we got? Anything good going on over here? Uh, I don't see anything that piques my interest. I don't see a Keaton Batman. Still trying to find Keaton Batman. There's some more model kits. Let's see what's over here. That's cool. Got Hulkbuster. And some pops. There's some more Marvel Legends. There's a Stan Lee. All Eternal stuff. This is pretty much older stuff. Got here some of the Diamond Select stuff. Man, that Planet Hulk one is so freaking cool. And that Psylocke is nice too. And that Beta Ray Bill is really cool. Damn. Diamond, 
these Diamond Select figures have come a long way for sure. Uh, let's see, we got Iceman, Super Scroll, and Daredevil's sick. I like Daredevil. We got some hot toys over here. Uh, here's uh, another Marvel Legends case. What do they got hiding in here? Anything good? Got some old school figures. They got the blob. Mm. Magneto. We got Hulk. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. What else have we got going on over here? Here's more hot toys. We got Captain Jack. We got Voldemort. We got Harry Potter. Here's some Avatar stuff. Uh, let's see. We got over here, we got some gargoyle stuff going on over here. We got some Tron figures. Anything over here? There's just some like random obscure stuff. There's the Big Lebowski, Voltron. Nothing too out of the norm. Some turtle stuff that they got. I got the uh, sewer playset for the playmates. That's cool. Let's see, we got some Lord of the Rings stuff for Dubby. Here's some Cobra Kai and Karate Kid stuff. And some more Lord of the Rings. We got some wrestling Lucy's over here. Let's see what else they got. Uh, Gremlins and Spawn. Uh, let's see, nothing here that's piquing my interest. There's some more Tron and Crow. It's Robert Cop. There's Robert Cop. I have that Robocop. I have Ed 209. Uh, let's see. Let's come around over here. Here's some NECA stuff. Uh, we got the Death Dealer. There's some G.I. Joe stuff right there. Some Back to the Future. Got the Wild West, Doc and Marty. That's cool on the hoverboard. Oh, here's a real find. <laughs> Dan Marino's quarterback challenge. <laughs> what do we got here? We got uh, G.I. Joe. Got three and three quarters. Here's some Motu and some G.I. Joe. <clears throat> Ooh, we got horsies. Here's some Transformers. Uh, it's called the Matrix, the Matrix of Leadership. We got some miscellaneous stuff in here. Cops, Thundercats. We got, oh, they got Centurions in there. There's some more Motu. Oh, they got Waterworld. That's cool. Uh, let's see. Here's like a sci-fi case. So there's Ed 209. There's Aliens. Uh, Scream, Crow, Predator, some Aliens and some Predator stuff. Uh, let's see. Oh my god. What is this? Jungle Extraction Dutch. I do not have this one. And yes, I will probably be purchasing this for my Arnold collection. Oh, that is just beautiful. That is beautiful. Look at that. Look at that. It's so gorgeous. I wanted to get here before you. Oh, we're having inception. We're having inception right now. That's it. That's it. That's it. Because you don't see that. No, you don't. You don't. It's an oldie, but a real goodie. That is. Comes with the with the machine gun, the knife, the Desert Eagle he carried. Jungle extraction. And that that portrait is solid. Anytime he's got the stogie in it. Can't beat it. So, yep, we'll, we'll be purchasing this for the Arnold collection. Here's some uh, hot toy action going on right now. We got the Mark One Whiplash. There's that uh, mechanized Deadpool, which is really cool. We've got the Venom Iron Man. We got two different visions. We've got Spider Man. There's more Iron Mans down there. There's cable. 
Black Panther, it's the Lokis, Tony Stark in the racing suit, Spider-Man. That's cool. Neon Tech Iron Man. Comic version. War Machine. Some cool stuff. There's some Marvel statues going on. Ghost Rider down there's cool. Thor Frog. It's a bunch of Batman stuff. It's Val Kilmer Batman. Oh shit. It's Robin with his package. You see Robin with his package? Oh, yeah. Yeah. They emphasized on the yeah, package. That's right. Something interesting. That's cool. King Shark. Venom and Carnage. Yeah, I know. Just so ugly. I know. They're bad. Yeah, Iron Man, Falcon. Really like that Nightmare Batman. That Nightmare Batman's cool. We got some more statues and stuff over there. There's a Punisher and a Blade figure back there. That's kind of cool. So. All right, guys, that is pretty much going to wrap up for Tate's. But I am so stoked that we just stumbled across this gem. So, again, you really don't find these out in the wild anymore. So this was a, this was a good stop today. I'm happy. I'm happy right now. So, all right, we're going to continue on the hunt. We're going to make our way to some other stores, and uh, we'll see you at the next place. All right, guys, we're here right now outside of good old bits and buttons, and I heard a little rumor that they're packing some heat inside the store. So let's go inside and see what they got. Guys, we're here in right now. Here's some G.I. Joe stuff right here, which is really cool. Here's some, uh, where, oh, he's got the bazooka. Look at that. He got bazooka, that's cool. I know a lot of people were looking for this figure. That's cool. There's a badass looking figure. Uh, we got the uh, torpedo. Crimson Bat. Uh, here's some loose vehicles and some graded stuff. And here's some of the three and three quarter Star Wars stuff. Here's some stuff in the case that they got. They got the uh, Samurai Stormtrooper, three and three quarter. There's the first edition Mando. Some of the glasses. That's some cool stuff. They got the Ewok Village down there. Uh, let's see, there's some Black Series figures, he's got Vader helmets, um, here's some more three and three quarter stuff, oh my sweet Jesus, would you look at that thing, wow, that's bigger than yours, isn't it? I was going to get that graded, <laughs> <laughs> just that portion. I don't even know what this is. If you guys are following them on Instagram, he posted this yesterday, and of course I left a comment that this thing is packing heat, and clearly it is. <laughs> Dom, why would you purchase this? I didn't. Well, Allie did? Allie's not here to defend herself. No. I was hoping Allie would be here because if, all right, so if you watched, follow them on Instagram, and you, you'll see Allie unboxing this thing yes, for the first time. The it's only it's 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 the funniest thing because it's like she's so innocent and she's looking at that thing for the first time and she's just giggling like oh, it's a pee pee you know so it's no, that's like not a, that's not a, that's, yeah that that's a that's, that's I, I I'm like mesmerized by it and I can't even take my eye <laughs> just oh <laughs> like, like I, I, see it from I don't want to be in the video anymore I want no. I want edited no, I can actually <laughs> I, want I can actually looking at it from the backside I can actually see it. Yeah. Alright, so now to wash the image out of our brains from that. <laughs> We're looking at the uh, Marvel stuff right now. And let's see. Anything good? We got Mr. Fantastic. We got Rhino. We got Wolverine. We got a whole bunch of old Toy Biz stuff going on. Some of the three and three quarters. X-Men figures, Phoenix, Wolverine, Beast, Spider-Punk. Spider-Punk's cool. There's Gwen. He's got Loki with the cube. Yeah, he's like all loaded up on Marvel Legends. <clears throat> Venom and Carnage. Uh, um, let's see. Uh, here's some 
wrestling stuff. Got Mike Stryker, William Regal, Hardcore Holly. Some of the Survivor Series. Got some Battle Packs. Some of the Retros. Got the Raw 3 Pack. Ryback, Hogan. Got some Ultimates. Bunch of AEWs. Scott Hall. Got Diesel up there. Got the Finding Moments, Sting and Hogan. Anything good in the case? We got the Narcissist, Lex Luger. Uh, let's see, we got the Bucks. We got Darby. We got the Ultimate Maniacs. There's Tatanka. Got some Hasbros. Got a Zack Ryder sign pop. Some other stuff over there. Got some starting not starting lineup. These are the McFarland sports figures. <clears throat> we got Clemens with the Yankees. We got Alex Rodriguez. We got Randy. Randy. I got some statues up there. There's some hot toys. Some other miscellaneous figures. He's got a Mafex Psylocke in there, which is pretty dope. Uh, got the uh, utility belt Batman. Here's some pops. Got some more McFarlane stuff over here. Got Indie short rounds. Got Batman. Here's some more. DC stuff. It's Keaton, but not the Keaton I'm looking for. Hopefully we'll have resolution to that soon. I promise, guys. I'm sure sure everybody's getting real tired of me bitching about not having the Keaton Batman. Um, here's some vintage stuff. Got Predator. We got Beetlejuice. E.T. Barnyard Commandos. Nightmare Before Christmas. Bendy's. Cowboys and Mumesa. Terminators, Last Action Hero, Waterworld, Congo. He's got all kinds of goodies. Simpsons. Got Superhuman Samurai. We got Mighty Ducks figures. Crash Test Dummies. Got a whole bunch of Dick Tracy figures. Beetlejuice is up there. He's got the Conan Thunder Battle Stallion. Got Swamp Thing. Got a whole bunch of vintage Jurassic Park stuff. SWAT Cats. Uh, let's see. Got an ALF Viewmaster in there. That's cool. Uh, Chuck Norris Karate Commandos. Chuck Norris. What is that? The Mighty Max. They got dinosaurs. Alright. <clears throat> let's, uh, Let's go back and see what's on the other side because there is a, again, and people throw this around and, you know, listen, it's entirely however you want to call it, okay? He has a grail figure here for me, which is the reason why I'm here. Uh, there is a grail CM Punk figure here, and I need that, like, in my life. I've only ever seen it twice, and he got it in on a trade so i'm here to get it i don't care how much money it is because again it's one of those things it's like you rarely ever see it and when you do you got to get it and i've kicked myself twice already for not buying it um <clears throat> so we're gonna look at that here's some ghostbusters stuff over here here's the blank it looks like he's got two blanks we got launchpad mcquack dick tracy uh Radio, watch some more Ghostbuster stuff. Here's some Motu. There's a bunch of other stuff over there. Here's some Power Rangers, Transformers. So Dave's trying to f buy some stuff. Um, here's some of the reaction figures. The Electric Mayhem. That's cool. 
Oh Here's some Transformers. All right. Um, let me go take a look at this CM Punk figure, and I will be right back. Yeah, this is going to be a big boy purchase today. Here it is, the ringside exclusive CM Punk. This is when he was wrestling for WWE ECW, and he was the world heavyweight champ. Yeah, this is like one of the most sought after CM Punk figures, and this thing is just absolutely awesome. The fact that it's in my hand right now is just amazing, and this is being purchased to go with my, I guess, starkerish wall of CM Punk memorabilia. So, yeah, this thing is just beyond epic. So, thank you, Mr. Dami Dom. Billy. Billy? Billy for sure. Billy, yeah, Billy, Billy, you call you Billy. I know. I don't want to see it again. I don't want to see it again. But, you know what? Really? Yeah. So, yeah, this thing's awesome. So, all right, we're gonna look around and talk to Dom for a few more minutes, and then, uh, yeah, we'll see where the where the road takes us. All right, <laughs> I'm trying to move the fix and keeps it off screen. Okay, so we left Bits and Buttons after acquiring my Grail, one of my CM Punk Grails. Um, we're here right now outside of Target, and we're gonna go inside and see if they got anything. I mean, honestly, I could end the hunt right now, and and just be content with the Arnold and the CM Punk. But you know you know me, while we're on about, we gotta keep going. We got a bunch of Rays, Mustafa's Takers, Adam Coles, Paz Vizlas, Boba Fett's, Tuscan Warrior, Luke and Grogu, Skeletor, Cobb Vanth and Cad Bane, Whiplash, Sun Man, here's some turtle stuff. There's a wandering Diamond Dave. Here's some Jurassic Park stuff. Nothing out of the norm. Some Transformers. Got the uh, Superman vs. Superman of Earth 3. We got Blue Beetle stuff. Cobra Kai, Power Rangers, G.I. Joe. Uh, let's see, we got. Electra Daredevil and Jessica Drew and then the Scroll Queen and the Super Scroll and then Grey Hulk and uh, Banner so I think that's it but there is stuff on the other side usually have like NECA stuff here's some Funko sodas and yeah, what's over here that they got that's NECA Elm Street St. Casey Jones Phantom Jason, yeah, that's about it. So, all right, well, let's see what's over in the NECA Funko section. Dave is happy. So, oh, it's Buzz. So, what did they have? They had the one last turtle. Well, there's multiple turtles. Oh, okay. But I don't know if this is worth waiting in that line. All right. Just saw walking in. All right, so. Dave was telling me about this this morning. We did stop at Hot Topic, but you'll see that on Dave's video because I didn't film while we were in there. Funko released these blockbuster VHS type packaging figures and they have chases. So you can see they have Jurassic Park, they've got Turtles, they've got Batman. Dave bought the Batman one this morning and he was looking. I'm surprised you're not buying more than one no. turtle because you want the chase, well, don't you? The, the regular one's kind of cool. Just throw it at me, why don't you? What's happening? So. But if they had both Batman and Ghostbusters, that might be a little more exciting. I don't think yeah. they I'm surprised you're not going to buy the Jurassic Park one. Just email them. Yeah. So, all right, well, there you go, Dave. There you go. Successful. Yep. yep. So, all right, now we're walking down the NECA Funko section. And as usual, there's not much. Got some Terminator. Here's. This, I don't know if I should buy this one or not. It's 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 Arnold, but it's like it's Arnold. Yeah. Have the progression of age on the shelf as well too. Yeah, but this was from. Yeah, but this was from a movie like I didn't even really like. Yeah, I agree with you on that. That's where you cherry pick what you like. Yeah, that's yeah. 
It's like I don't want to pass on it because it's Arnold, but I have that in the... Uh, yeah, so I think that's about it. So, sorry, Arnold. You're not just quite exactly Arnold enough. You're like the Diet Coke of Arnold. <laughs> All right. Dave's going to go purchase his Ninja Turtle stuff, and uh, yeah, we're going to see if we can avoid that line when we came in. I didn't show it to you. But trust me, it was a pretty epic line. So, all right, we'll figure out where we'll go next and we'll see when we get there. All right, guys, we're here at our final stop of the day. And it's just not any final stop. It is our good friend, the Walmart, with the Kevin Nash sitting up top. So, uh, yeah, let's go inside. All right, let's see what we got. We got some Transformers. We got some turtle action going on. We got X-Men 97 Wolverine Claws. Got more turtle stuff. We got uh, Iron Man. Karnak. Loki. Dinos. Batmans. Nightwing. And we've got some Star Wars. Got a destroyed Jake Hager. We got Brock's and Kenny's and Ultimate Warriors. Um, we got Wardlow, we got Roman, we got Braze. Um, nothing none of the ultimate edition f oh here we go i don't even see these <clears throat> we got what is it the rock concert rock we've got the miz we've got mvp that is a solid mvp i gotta admit that is a solid mvp figure we got the rock concert rock that's a good one uh got lady j uh yeah fuck why can't why does dude i hate when people post shit when they find the stuff that i'm looking for and it's like in the most random fucking states yep. we get down here. it's like everyone is finding the ultimate edition brock lesnar ruthless aggression and rvd and i i can't i can't find it you know i got lucky with the with the ray and the and the eddie i'll give i'll give myself that i got lucky with that but uh, i want my brock and rvd is it too much to ask? Yeah. You probably should have gone there. <laughs> huh? You probably should have gone to that Walmart. Oh, what, to that one Walmart? Yeah. So, all right, we're going to go see if uh, this NECA Funko section has anything to offer. Sorry for the rant. We're here at probably one of the worst NECA Funko sections known to mankind. So here's some pops, some golds, and that's about it. I mean, I, I don't know what else... Uh, it's yeah, it's a, little bit, a little bit of nothing, a little bit of nothing. The only cool thing that they got is that Gambit bus. That's about it. Um, all right. Well, that is going to conclude this hunt. Um, as always, Diamond Dave, thanks for hanging out. Pleasure. Link will be in the That's description nice. below. And then, uh, yeah, we're going to uh, head back home and I'll show you a better look at that CM Punk and the Arnold figure. I picked up which were both very unexpected finds today which I felt like we were on track for the perfect hunt today well, but winter, maybe we'll see we'll see we'll, we'll we'll see what happens so all right we're gonna head out and I'll head back home and I'll see you guys shortly all right so we're home we're relaxing we're watching wrestling Jan Jan is here and Diamond Dave just showed up but Diamond Dave just showed up with the brightest of gifts. And there it is, folks. You've the long-awaited Keaton Batman with the Batmobile. Oh, Keaton Batman, you're finally in my life. So now everyone can stop leaving comments on the videos when you're getting Keaton Batman, when Keaton Batman's showing up, because Keaton Batman's right there. So, all right, guys, I'm going to get back to watching wrestling, and then I'll recap everything in a little bit. Diamond Dave. Hugs and kisses, buddy. What's going on, everybody? So this is a few days now after all that stuff took place because, well, you know, just been a little lazy lately. So finally getting around to it now. So just bear with me. So had a fun day today, hanging out with Dave. Had fun at Bits and Buttons, as always. 
getting to see that unexpected um, figure kind of uh, just took me by surprise. So uh, pretty funny there. However, however, the stuff we found today and the stuff we got was definitely one for the ages. So we went to Tate's first and we found this jungle extraction Dutch from Predator, which is awesome because I need this for my Schwarzenegger shelf. Um, I actually even just found out that they made a Dutch hot toy, which now I'm gonna have to go get. And that thing is like astronomical looking on eBay because that seems to be the only place I can find it. So we got this now for our Schwarzenegger shelf, which is awesome. And if you guys are following me on Instagram, you guys saw that I already posted some stuff. So I'm making progress with that. So this was a great, great find and a great way to start the hunt. Then we went to good old bits and buttons where obviously now we're filming this days after the fact. My heart was broken Sunday, Saturday night, I guess, if you want to call it that. News broke that AEW fired CM Punk because of whatever altercation happened. And I'm just still distraught and I don't know if we'll ever see CM Punk again. And I hope that is not the way his career finishes on this note he's got to do something he's got to go to back to either wwe maybe impact can sign him who knows maybe he just does independence this can't be the way this ends for him but regardless of the fact dom got some stuff on trade and in the stuff he got in trade was one of at least one of my grail cm punk figures this is the ringside exclusive elite um, where he was with uh, ECW, and he's got the ECW belt, the microphone, everything, and the card is not the greatest at top, but I really don't care. This is, to me, like one of the grail figures for Punk, so I was so stoked when we got this, and yeah, this, this, this just made my heart happy, so more on-card CM Punk figures now we're gonna have to find, and of course now... Just like last time CM Punk left, all his stuff is going to go up in price. So I've got to make make with the quick if I'm going to try to get any of that stuff. So that's what we picked up while we were out. Um, I came home and there was a package waiting from me from my man Joe. Um, JMC collects. So we're going to open this up right now. And I know what this is because I bought this off of him um because he would hit me up he said he was selling some wrestling stuff and i was like yeah you know what i was like i need this because it's gonna tie in with the uh the muhammad ali ultimate edition figure so i said eh what the hell why not so let's go ahead and pull all this out of here what did he throw we also throw some what did he throw some stickers in there so and he throws some other stickers and some other miscellaneous stuff in there which was cool but we wound up getting the mr t and the roddy piper so i needed this because obviously like i said it'll go along with that muhammad ali san diego comic-con ultimate that just came out and what better way to do any kind of figure photography to put hot rod up against muhammad ali just saying so we got that so thank you joe i appreciate that and last but certainly not least diamond dave for the mother fucking win we finally have an end to the Keaton saga. So I saw this go up and I couldn't get to it. Amazon was erroring out. So Diamond Dave surprised me because he bought two of them and he was kind enough to gift me one. Here it is. We've got the gold label, Keaton Batman with the Batmobile. We finally got Keaton, Keaton Batman thanks to Diamond Dave. So, we finally got our Keaton Batman. So finally, finally, the hunt for Keaton is over with. I know everybody's been with me on every hunt, trying, going along, feeling my pain of not being able to find it. It's finally come to an end, so we will no longer be searching for the Keaton. Now here's the one caveat. You guys know as well as I do, 
and this happens to everybody, once we finally get exactly what we're looking for, it appears everywhere. It's just the way of the world and how it works. You guys know exactly what I'm talking about and you're probably laughing along with me right now. So you guys know. <laughs> so uh, yeah, guys, this is the haul. This was a great haul. This was a great hunt. Um, yeah, so again, guys, link in the description below for Diamond Dave and Bits and Buttons, and I'll definitely put the uh, link in there for Joe so you can check Joe out, and uh, we'll go from there, guys. So that is going to wrap up another hunt, but before I do that, before I do that, we're less than a couple of weeks away from uh, New York Comic Con. So I will be back at New York Comic Con this year at the Bits and Buttons booth again, but this time, I'm going to have some friends with me. So Diamond Dave will be there, um, and Humpty will be there slinging dragons. So guys, come by to the booth, come hang out with us, come have some fun, and uh, should be fun. So Diamond Dave, Diamond Dave is going to be there. Humpty was there last year, but we got new. Diamond Dave's going to be there, so it's going to be fun to do New York with, with Diamond Dave. Um, yeah, and that's about it, guys. So I hope you guys enjoyed the hunt. Be sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe, and all that good stuff. And I'll see you guys on the next hunting video. We found Keaton! Diamond Dave is the hero! Hero.